Hello everybody, my name is Jason Barber. I am going to be your instructor for Physics 111 this semester. I can't believe the summer's gone and it's time for the fall semester to begin, but I'm looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you and working with you to do everything that we both can do for you to be successful in this course. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself smaller here. And let's take a look at the course because I want you to be comfortable with it and know your way around. So let's go into a student view here. This looks pretty similar to before, but this looks more like very, very close to what you're going to see here. And so over here, all the way at the left is a general menu for all of Canvas. So you can switch to your other courses. Um, and see your overall calendar, go to your inbox and other things. At the end of the semester, do your student opinion forms there. Also, if you click on account and go to notifications, I, I strongly encourage you to go in there and um, change your notifications and you can forward it to another email address or, or some other method of communication. You'll see options in there. You can also change how frequently stuff goes from Canvas to wherever you want it sent. Um, and then there's also a place for you to change the course notifications. So that's specifically for Physics 111. You can do by clicking here. All right. So let's take a look. This is the landing page. This is where you'll go each time you come into Canvas. And so the most important thing on this page really is probably this down here, this link you'll use quite a bit. This kind of gets you used to the course, you know, your first time in, it gives you a place to start and get used to things. Um, but otherwise, most of the time you come in here, you know, you might look at your to-do list, that's, that's good, but you'll want to go into modules. The primary parts of this toolbar that you're gonna be using over here, or menu, I guess, it's not a toolbar, but this menu, modules and grades. Um, I will send out some announcements and you may choose through your notifications to get those sent to your email or some other way to read those. Um, so modules and grades. So let's take a look here at modules and we'll see here that there's the first module. It's not called module one. It's, it's not numbered. It's just course information. So it has the syllabus and information about when we're meeting um, and all about the course. I'm going to use PowerPoint files during the semester. Those will all get posted here as I do them. Those are something that I change each semester. Um, not, not a lot, but, I, but they are different for each semester. And so the updated files get put in there when they're ready. And so let me just show you the best way to navigate this course is to click on where you need to go. And you can see the syllabus here. There was last semester's video. And then, you know, after you've read and done whatever it is on that page, come down and hit next. This will get populated as we go. And then you go to the next. Here's my office hours and so on. And so if you just keep hitting next, now I'm not saying to just scroll down and skip to it, but to actually do what it says and to you know read, understand, do the assignment, whatever it is. Uh, but the best way to navigate is to keep going through next, next, next. All right, and here you can see that you are gonna need some equipment for doing some at-home labs. It's all easy to get materials and there's substitutions that you can make and I'm happy to work with you if, if you have any problems. Uh, let's jump back out here, click on modules. And so you can see we were right here, required supplies for labs. So when you're ready the next time, you would come in right here and then you could keep doing next, next, next. Okay. And then, after, you know, if you just keep hitting next through each of these, it's going to take you right into the next module from the last thing in this module to the first thing in the next module here. And so module zero and one are the ones that you're going to be working through this first week and in between modules zero and one are some optional math review materials. 
Okay, so algebra and trig, you're going to do your own math skills assessment. And so then you can look to see if you need to spend some time on those optional algebra and trig review materials. Okay, and after that, you're going to go into module one, which is not posted yet, but that will get posted very soon. All right, that's it. If you have questions, just ask. Look forward to meeting you.